What's going on YouTube? Gabe was AK The Truth. We just finished uh, chest, well I did chest and arms, and P1, you did chest and shoulders, innit? Yeah. Yeah, but this exercise right here, everyone keeps asking me, oh, what do you do for traps? How do you get bigger traps? This is what I did. When I first started training, um, I, I first started training my friend JK, then my other friend got me into American football, said, do this for traps if you want to build bigger traps. So I started doing it and it worked in about two, three months, I started seeing results and I basically did it twice a week. It wasn't a lot of weight, so I, he said, just put a 20 on the bar and shrug 20 times in front, 20 times be, um, behind. But he said, focus on the form. So check this. So here, lean forward a little bit. And then it's almost like you're pulling back. So it's almost as if like, when, you, when you're pulling it up, you're pulling, you're pushing your chest out as well. Because what people don't realize is that your traps run down the middle of your back and up to the top. So when you see people just going straight up and down, it's, it's, it will hit it a little bit, but if you want to maximize the growth in that area, it, need, it needs to be a squeeze kind of like up and back. So that's it forward. And then he said, then step over and do 20 reps like this. It's the same thing again, except it's a, lot, it's a bit easier to, whew, oh, out of breath and shit. It's a bit easier to pinch back because it's already behind you. Then he said, because we had one of these machines. If you show them that, that machine real quick, that, that yellow one. So we had this machine in uh, Fitness First, which was really sick. And then he was like, then after that, so after doing 20 on that, 20 front, 20 back, and go on this and do 15. So kneeling, facing into the machine. But the key thing is here, is that this part here, if you, if you bring the camera here one sec, that part there needs to split your leg. So it shouldn't be in front and it shouldn't be behind. I'm saying it should split your body in half. So then with the arc pattern of the machine itself, you get a nice squeeze when you pinch back and lift. Now, I know a lot of people go, oh, but your gym has so much equipment. My gym doesn't have this. Oh, you're lucky. Where do you train? You don't have to do it with this machine. You can do it with dumbbells. So the reason why he said kneeling is because it takes a lot of like the leg drive that a lot of people like to use um, out of the equation. But if you're gonna do it with dumbbells, again, just maybe kneeling on a step or something like that, and then keep it so it's, it splits your body in half still. And just focus on that contraction. You know, pulling back chest up and really squeezing the traps. Trust me, try this with the form tips that I just said, and your traps will be on fire because right now mine are burning like crazy. <laughs> And I've only done like partial part of like one round. So you do that for three rounds twice a week. Thank me later. That's it. Just a little quick video. <laughs> Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. I'm out. Whipping excursion. I got a pick of that person. In the trap. Whipping that worker. You're not a gangster. You're just an internet version.